everyone. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I'm so happy that you're here today. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a happy mail. Um, I have a beautiful friend named Doris. You guys all know her as Rose Cottage Studio. And she and I have been chatting a little bit offline. And uh, she mentioned to me that she had some stuff that she wanted to send me in a happy mail that she was no longer able to use. And I got this box, this huge box that's a very heavy. Today, this is Happy Mail on it, which, Doris, you were so sneaky, sneaky. I thought you were going to send like a little bitty package of yarn, and this is extremely heavy. This is a large flat rate box where you're supposed to be able to ship anything without worrying about the weight. Um, Actually, it says it's five pounds, nine ounces. Doris, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I already know that this is going to be amazing because um, I know Doris has really good taste in yarns and has late, some lace stuff that, um, some really nice lace yarns that she said she wasn't able to use. So, I'm trying to open this up. Excuse the noise. Give me one second here. I am excited. I've had actually got this a couple of days ago and I just haven't felt well uh, for doing a video. So um, I'm not great today, but I do have my giveaway here in just a little bit. So um, we're going to do this today. And I am excited to open this box, Doris. Thank you so much. Let's see. She said she stuck some stuff, a bunch of stuff in here, and she stuck a bunch of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on a second. I'm about to show you guys. Okay, I'm going to show this. This is the box. I tried to turn my camera around, and it didn't work. But Doris, there's not just yarn in here. Oh my goodness. Look at this stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you guys all of this. Just give me a second, but look how beautiful this card is. This is private, but this is so pretty. And you know what is interesting? Is we have cardinals in our backyard again this year. I love that. All right, give me a second. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you guys all this. I just wanted you guys to see, get a peek into the box before I started digging in to this. So last year we had um, a cardinal family and... Uh, Kind of, they were the main birds in the backyard, but then this year um, we have blue jays and cardinals, and they are so, so cute and so beautiful and so sweet. So the fact that you sent me a cardinal just, ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I love the note you wrote. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, Doris, you're a good friend of mine as well. Just know that. It goes both ways, my friend. Um, the first thing I see when I open this box, I'm sure you guys saw this, are these gorgeous DPNs. Look at these. I mean, these could actually also be hair things. But they're size 10.0 millimeters. Um, I'm not sure what that is in the U.S., but they are nice and chunky, and I love them. Look at that. That is awesome. You can use, also use this for a cable needle and a few other things from it instead of just DPNs, but these are beautiful. I don't think I have this size, so thank you. Love them already, I'm so excited. There's so much stuff in this box, Doris. Oh my goodness, where to start? Okay, right on the top. This, I don't, I don't know what all is in here, but look at all this. I mean, look at all this. It's a beautiful little bag, and there is I don't know what all this stuff is. It's so beautiful. There's little um, notes, crochet society, um, little stickers. Oh, these are so sweet. They're like love and um, be inspired. 
and oh my goodness look at this there's like a, a sticker midnight crochet club um there is uh look at this there's a book here for your sketches it's just like empty but look how beautiful the book is i mean the, the de detail on this book is so pretty and there's like three of them or three of them look at this these are so beautiful and they're ooh, look at these these have like this inside which would be nice for figuring out beads and then this is also for stitches this is like graph paper which i was actually thinking of getting some the other day so thank you because i was thinking about stitching out um something maybe for my crochet cow top like a design and that would be perfect to use for like a single crochet stitch and then also i could add beads to each one of those stitches so thank you um i love that and then it looks like i've got um a hook chart and I'm not sure what all these are it's like ah there's some cards in here that I could use to say the sweetest gifts are handmade which is so true so beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you these are all so beautiful ah look at this just the season to get crafting man thank you doris these are awesome i'm always looking for cards to use to send so thank you all seasons sweetings so cute so so cute these are adorable and they're really nice thick cardstock that's nice um let's see there's um oh, look at this there is a crochet row counter bracelet in here oh my goodness look at this oh that is beautiful i've never had one of these i've always wanted one of these i've never had one look at this and keep a track of what row that you're on because it's got like the the numbers and then you hook it through your row that you're the um your needles that you're on three and, you know it goes through ten and then you can start over again and keep track of it in numbers of ten so beautiful thank you i mean i seriously have been wanting one of those looking at maybe buying one but i don't buy for myself a lot um lately so thank you oh my goodness what is all of this this i can't open let's see oh my goodness what is this I don't know what this is I don't know what that is is it I am mechanically inclined or not inclined I'm challenged this looks like maybe some scissors but I don't know how to unfold them um, let me work on that but I think these are scissors that is so cool though look at these I think that's what that is it looks like it could be that I have to get my husband to help me figure this out. He's really good at that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how to figure this out. But look at that. That's so cute. And safe. I love that. That's the best part is that they're safe. Doris, you shouldn't have sent me all this stuff. And all these beautiful little stickers that I can use for um, all the things I make. Thank you. Made with love. That is so sweet. Look at these. I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was just one thing. There's so much more in here. I mean, there's, look at these. There's even little tags here that you can put on there to help t tell people how to take care of their, their projects that you make for them. Um, there's darning needles in here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, Doris. There's so much in this box um look at this there's like a little sewing kit it's got like scissors and thread and tape measure and um safety pins and darning needles i mean wow look at this all chocked full in here in this cute little case 
Oh, this is adorable. Thank you. This is the perfect thing to take for when you're traveling as well or in your little crochet bag or knitting bag. Just thank you. That is so handy. I love it. So pretty. I love the rose gold. All right. Um, the next thing is, oh my goodness. I was just talking about this with one of my friends, some cable needles. I got some cable needles which I always, I use these like crazy, especially for like my Japanese sampler scarf lately. And I always end up losing some of these. Sometimes I drop them under the couch and, uh, or in the couch and stuff. So thank you. I, I can always use these. And then look at these shawl pins. Aren't they beautiful? They're so pretty. I love them. Two pins, two piece shawl pins. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace here. This video is gonna be a really long video. Um, this, let's see what else. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a project bag, or no, this is a, a towel. This is what this is, look at this. And it's got these beautiful tassels on there, black and white, and it says, Yarnologist. Noun, optimist at heart who turns yarn into art. Ain't that the truth? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Well, well, no, I'll be using that. My husband probably won't be using it, but I will. It's so pretty. I love it. Man, I've never seen some of this stuff before. I wonder where you got all of this. Oh my goodness, now this I knew about. You told me about this, so I'm gonna go straight for this first. This is Angora Lace Yarn. Doris told me about this, and it is over 2,700 yards. Enough to make a really nice big shawl. I'm gonna take a look at this. Look at this, she said it's some greens. It's 2,772 yards, it's, oh, labeled. I almost lost the label. There's the label. Here's the yarn. Look at this yarn. Look how beautiful this is. This is a, this is Wisdom Yarns and Gore Lace. And look at the colors in this yarn. This is, um, it's beautiful. This is 60% um, fine merino wool superwash 10% angora and 30% nylon and it is so soft oh my gosh this feels like a dream here look at the the weight on this yarn so you guys can see the weight of it there we go and it's very um it's lace weight of course this is made in turkey and it is beautiful. This color is called Back to Nature. You can see all the different shades of green. That is so pretty. I'm gonna have to find a really beautiful shawl to make with this, shawl pattern. Oh my goodness. This is so soft. I mean, I wish you guys could feel this. I mean, look at this yarn. Look how luscious it is. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six beautiful skeins of this yarn. I mean, oh my goodness. This is, um, each skein has, um, please forgive me. My brain's not working so great today. Uh, 462 yards and there's six of these, which comes out to be 2772. So awesome. I mean, this, this might make a couple of shawls actually. Um, it's just beautiful. I'm going to find a really nice pattern for this. Thank you so much, Doris. This is a beautiful yarn. I've never used this yarn before, so I'm excited about using it. It's kind of got like a slight halo to it, which will be really nice and soft and, um, could probably find some really beautiful beads to go with this as well. Ah, so pretty. Please forgive me. 
Thank you so much. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. Ah, thank you. Um, oh my goodness. She told me about these too. She didn't tell me. Ah, oh, look at these yarns. Oh my gosh. Let me pull this one out first and save these others. All right, she told me she was sent me some cake yarns. Oh my goodness, look at this. I can't say this name. And everybody always says it. Uh, Shepios. I think that's how you say it. This is a, the Whirl Fine Art, which I've been wanting to buy some. Look at this gradient. This is beautiful. DK Weight Yarn. It is a Merino Yarn Blend. Let's see. This is color 658 and is there a name you need a uh, 4.0 to 5 millimeter hook or needle and it is just beautiful look at the colors on this and I think this is DK weight this is the whirl fine art yarn and it is so pretty oh my gosh Yes, it's compatible with Merino Soft, and it's, oh, here we go. It's 50% super fine Merino, 19%, or 25% microfiber acrylic, and it is really, really soft and squishy. Look how squishy this is. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Doris. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. It's gonna make something beautiful. I'm not sure what yet, but it is beautiful. Now these, you'll probably understand why I saved them to, to last, because they're my, fa my favorite colors. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this yarn. This is more um, cheap as um, Frosted Whirl. Ah, look at this gradient. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I'll try to hold it so you guys can see the colors while I'm talking about it instead of me just looking at it. Oh, that's so pretty. This is 450 meters, 100 grams. It's mostly cotton, 57% cotton, 38% acrylic, and then 5% Lurex polyester, which is this um, sparkle. Can you see the sparkle going through it? It's just ever so slightly a sparkle. It is so beautiful. Here, maybe you can see it on the darker pink. It is so pretty. Look at this colorway. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Um, this color is, um, let's see if I can find a color number in case you guys are interested in this. Um, 322, Skinny Scream. Ooh. So pretty. Made me scream when I saw it, right? It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Doris. It is so beautiful. You know I love the pinks. Ah, this is awesome. I think this is um, like a fingering weight yarn. Because 100 grams, 400 meters is about a finger, usually a fingering weight um, designation. So, just in case you guys are interested in that knowing what that is oh my gosh these next two they're killing me they are so pretty they are beautiful look at this yarn oh i have to open it up i'm sorry i just can't leave it in the plastic look at these two skeins of yarn oh how they match they're so beautiful this is um a cotton king's um twirls yarn i've never used this yarn before this is so pretty though. Look at this. This is 100% cotton. It's a two, each skein is 200 grams, 800 meters. So that's like um, 100 grams, 400 meters. That's like about a finger. This is a fingering weight yarn. This is what it looks like thickness wise. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the gradients on these. Oh, and you sent two of them. Oh, this is so pretty. These pinks. I love these. I mean, oh, look, 
Look, they're so pretty and they're soft and, oh, man, this is going to be so beautiful. These gradient yarns are so pretty. Doris, thank you so much. I can't believe you sent me these and sent all of these, all of this. This is too much. This is way too much. These are beautiful. I'm excited. I've never used this yarn before. I'm not sure where you found it. I've never even seen it sold. It's beautiful. Um, but there's one more skein. Ah, look at this yarn. Ah, this is another Sheepia's um, Whirl yarn. And so pretty. Look at this pink gradient. Ah. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is um, 100 grams, 450 meters, so it was probably like a, another fingering weight yarn. It's so soft. This is 60% um, cotton, 40% acrylic. Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is um, color 552 pink to wink. Oh, isn't that nice? It's so pretty. Look at this. Let me get closer. I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. This would be beautiful as a shawl as well. All of these would be. I mean, my goodness, Doris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You sent me so much stuff. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. This must be all the colors they have. And... I've never had these this type of yarn before, so thank you. I've seen it. I've always wanted to buy some, but I've never bought it. So thank you so much. I've never had um, these as gradients, and I've never had—I mean, I've never had any of these yarns before. So I'm excited to try some new yarns and have these shawl pins and all these things I can use for my giveaways and stuff. Thank you so much, Doris. Thank you. Um, I just love you so much and you're such a blessing to me thank you so much um i appreciate you your friendship our conversations and i love you with all my heart and thank you for blessing me with all these beautiful yarns and mostly your friendship i appreciate you and hope you're doing good today thank you again for spoiling me so much and letting me share this with all my people I will show one quick picture of Doris um, here at the end. Her smiling. Doesn't she have a beautiful smile? And she's wearing a shawl that I made that um, I gifted to her. Um, kind of like a hug from me to her. And um, anyway, Doris is a beautiful lady. And uh, if you see her in the chat, say hello. And uh, uh, tell her how much she over spoiled me i did not deserve all of this but thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much doris you are just beautiful person inside and out and i'm so lucky to have you as a friend and thank you for spoiling me so much with all this beautiful yarn and all these beautiful beautiful notions and shawl pins and needles and everything you gifted me my goodness, I can't even hold it all. Thank you so much. And if, thank you guys for watching this video, for sharing this um, Happy Mail with me. Happy Mail is, is always such a joy to open and receive. And thank you, Doris, for thinking of me. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm not my usual kind of crazy self. But um, pushing through. I hope you all are doing well. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching this if you are new and you like watching videos about uh, crochet, knitting, yarn. We would love to have you subscribe here. If you um, are a subscriber and are back again watching my videos, thank you so much. You are the reason why I do these videos to um, interact with you and I appreciate you all being here. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all so very, very, very soon.